God, or like, you know, God's got this thing, and you, and you don't have the wheel. I mean, you can control what you do in your life, but man, it's all thanks to God. Or, you go to the church of COVID-19, and like, sing the praises of Dr. Fauci and all the stupid signs around it, or lack thereof. And if you got like, uh, a brain between, between those pair of eyes, and then if you got a third eye, congratulations. But if you got a, a brain between those two eyes and actually do your due dil diligence as a human and like look into stuff, but uh, you know, we're all serfs here, right? Serfs up. So, like, if you, you, you'd see how much fa facade this whole thing is. Sure, COVID 19 re was real, it was manufactured in a lab. John Stewart said so, so it must be right. He's up on the Daily Show. All lived hard, wet dream. So, it's not until like somebody, uh, of like that kind of credo or credentials says something that like idiots start going, oh well, he must be right. You know, Vox going, it was just a flu, bro. And then they write an article like, this is how you protect yourself from COVID-19. Don't speak the English language, you know? Absolute absurdity. It's like we're living in the far side, non sequitur. Unreal. But that's what we've come to be, unreal unreality in a tube and then those that spe have spoken up against it the whole time look at AH man she's getting them strikes those who spoke up against it the whole time they were getting thrown off the platform why because they were questioning the narrative and anytime you question the narrative they're gonna tell you you can't do that and what is that called people that's called fascism and that's called well, that's called being censored and being told what you can and cannot say. And as last time I checked, you could say what you want to say because it's this kind of country. Supposedly it was. Not anymore. Because uh, science is real. is on uh, somebody's front lawn. And they're just, they're just filled with weaponized magical guilt aiding their every choices and that uh, I'll buy it be political which is like governing their mental and they're mentally governed they're mentally I didn't say it so I'm not gonna put one in the swear jar but hey look at this you know you, uh, you tell me like this is the minority here the minority voice speaking you know and then you, what do you do? You go and you talk to other people, but like other people will say nonsensical things. They'll be like, well, if they just kept their masks on, this wouldn't have been an outbreak. Well, you know what? The government and the CDC and who all told us at the beginning of the pandemic that you don't have to wear masks. You shouldn't because it won't protect you. And lo and behold, it's confirmed it's true. And you looked into the science. It's just there as a precaution. They wore these masks during the, those plague years. You know, the Black Death, you saw those giant masks looking like birds. And then COVID-19, the most deadliest thing in the world, and all you got is a little thing of fabric separating you, and you're still going to breathe in a fart. And he said that the whole time, along with this pandemic, and it's just like as absurd as that. So, you know. But the fear is very real. And if you're afraid, then you are easily led. And then the Lord is my shepherd, and I don't and I'm not scared. And when you're not scared, you cannot be led by anything other than what you accept as Lord Jesus Christ your Savior. That's why these occultists and these people they fall victim to demons, demonology. Practice demonology with a friend, says Tom knows. <laughs> That is a quote, a direct quote, from uh, the Principal Discordia, Discordia uh, Robert Anton Wilson. God bless that man. But yeah, if you are with the, uh, if you're with the, <clears throat> you're with the narrative, there's a gothic prayer. Let's see, I had to do that because little girls were going by, I didn't want to film them. That would be weird. But I was going to do this anyway. There's a gothic prayer. Learn how to say this. You know? 
there's a guy on YouTube that shows you how to just type in a gothic prayer or a gothic Bible. Pretty cool stuff. Look at that language. Yeah, they do the A's. The A's look like fire, like little fire flames. It's pretty cool. There's a, or if it is an A. Excuse me, my goodness. I collect people's shopping lists that are on the ground here. I gotta remember to bring those in. I got all my blades showing. I gotta put them away. Copyright claim. Let me switch Marys. There we go. Man, really cool stuff. I wonder what this is gonna look. Look at that. One of these days, I gotta put all my cassettes in the, in the uh, secret compartment because they might melt. It's so dang hot. Yeah, propaganda 101 fear is led by manipulation and then governments. Governments. And then you look to the government to see how they can save the day. <clears throat> no, there's no such thing as big corporate investments and big pharma and all these, all this stuff. But no, that doesn't exist. That has no influence at all in like world events. No, 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 not no. It could not be. Nope. No, 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 no. You do, stocks, stocks and bonds, investments into uh, things like this? Nah. Making money off it? Off of people's misery? Nah, that doesn't happen. What are you talking about? Nah. No. Nah. No nah way. These people are straight up, you know, straight up good people, you know? Good people in the sense that they're not making, they're making just a minimum wage and, you know, they're just living their lives as good, good, decent, uh, uh, good, decent, either Christians or just hate-mongering uh, selectivists, uh, and identitarian polit uh, polit polit uh, poly polygamous politicians. Wow, oh, this is good people. There's no such thing as selling your soul. Nah. Selling your soul, that's just an outdated idea. Do with that wool. Do people still practice that? Ooh, I don't know. Mount Carmel, that is. What is that dangling in front of the camera? I'm just gonna leave it hanging there. I guess I'll do the shows from now on. Just like leave the camera dangling by the window like that. It's very uh, omnipresent, I suppose. And then you hear like this voice in the background. It's got a good effect. I like it. Now let's do a little bit of scene arrangement here. Uh, maybe we get this uh, little character somewhere involved. Oh. 
Okay, now I'm being silly. Drink the rest of your tea and let's go. I don't know what it's called, it's like, a, it's like a phenomenon. When teens first get their license, and they're, they realize that they're able to talk talk crap and then drive drive away, and not even deal with it. What is that phenomenon called? Oh yeah, uh, chicken, <laughs> chicken scratch, chicken poo. Whoop. Jesus saves, hallelujah. Holy Ghost riding the whip. This was New Jersey Drive, the camera's about to uh, go. Go, 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 baby. Go, go. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, just leave the camera there. It's a type of negative Christian woman plays. Yeah, we're in stupid mass. <sighs> It's hotter than hot garbage having to wear a mask. <laughs> Still going. This is has like two minutes left. Well, hallelujah is the last word I'm gonna say. Well, hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs>